This is how we built our space frame chromoly chassis for our Formula SAE race car. As we started with the rear, we've got these cupped uh, parts of the jig. This is the jacking bar. So we started and we kind of worked our way forward. We lined up the coped tubes, corroborated it with CAD, and then the jigging is more just for support. We're not determining how we put it together based off of the jigging, but basically just started from this back point and worked our way forward. There's the notches for the tubes. We lined this up to make sure that it all does work. The copes line up on that side and this side. So now we're going to go ahead and put in the main roll hoop and the front roll hoop, do our side impact structure, see if that all lines up, and then we'll do the back part and the front part. Here we are, we have the side impact structure tacked together. Um, what we did was we started with the rear roll hoop, put it in at the right angle, and then put the front roll hoop indicating off the table as our like normal plane, and then we indicated this angle, put the top brace in, and then kind of made these triangles all fit up. The fit up is pretty good. Uh, it's I mean, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty great compared to anything we do by hand. These are VR3 coped tubes. All right, we've got the rear of the chassis tacked together. It was definitely more difficult and the fit up isn't quite as good. Uh, so kind of this joint is supposed to be a little bit higher, although it's symmetrical on either side. It's a little bit low. Uh, these joints right here were a bit of a difficult section. Uh, you can see the fit up isn't perfect around there. This side, it, it's going to be good enough. It's a student built race car. Let's see how the front goes and then we might have it tacked up by the end of the day. All right, folks, here we go. We've got a fully tacked chassis. Uh, the fit up on the front was a little bit difficult. It looked like it was going to be pretty rough, but then once we started tacking, it pulled things into alignment and the, the gaps aren't too bad. The front bulkhead went on there pretty well. These tubes, they were tension fit. Like once we tacked this tube, those two tubes in, then all this stuff was just held in place. Uh, it is currently 418 and we started this process at 1030 or so. So in, how many hours is that? Five and a half, Five and a half hours. We went from just tubes to a full chassis. Now it's time to start. I'm gonna throw tacks on all the 
insides. So I'm gonna tack the inside of all of it and then start the welding process.